Before we get into the video, if you've already subscribed to my YouTube channel, definitely click that little bell right next to it. That way you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Just go click it right now. Here, I'll wait a few seconds. Oh, you're done? Great, awesome. Yeah, I don't know why, but YouTube's making it so you don't get notified even if you're subscribed to a YouTube channel. Okay, let's get into the video. What's up guys, ladies, gentlemen, bros, dudes? How are you all doing? So, it has been a really rainy day today, but, okay, as you may see, I'm wearing a long sleeve. This is like one of the only times that I wear a long sleeve. This is the only long sleeve that I own. I own one long sleeve, one hoodie, and then besides that, just t-shirts, like a rain jacket, but it's not very often I put on this long sleeve, but I've been wearing it this morning because there's been a bucket load of mosquitoes flying around. I'm not really sure why, it's like maybe after the first rains they like come out and they get disturbed or something, but this kind of helps protect my arms. So like if I'm doing something, normally they land on my arms, but this may not totally stop them, but you know, just like a little bit of extra protection and the rain keeps coming on and off. So like it starts raining and then it stops and it starts and stops. So we're gonna go adventure around the neighborhood, go check out, I guess the beach, see what is going on, see if there's any types of wreckageness that's happened. And all I'm gonna take is the GoPro. Oh yes, there's something crazy just recently happened. So in town, there was this bridge that they had to get rid of and they were rebuilding it. But in the meantime, while they were rebuilding it, they had to make this side road with some, like those concrete cantarillas to drain the water through. And someone was driving with their car and then like the dirt must've gotten like really soft or something, but like it did the entire earth just like moved and the car flipped over and still haven't found out if the people who were in the accident are okay or not. But I do have one picture, maybe two, of the accident. So hopefully it'll show up on the screen right now. Yeah, really crazy stuff. I mean, it's like crazy the way like just a few rains can like make total landslides and stuff. But anyways, let's get going, see if we come across anything else. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super fun. I think it's gonna be a totally different, especially not having a backpack or like multiple cameras and stuff because, you know, it's nice having a bag because I like having like extra batteries, water, other stuff. But for today, I had to leave it at home because everything would get totally drenched. One thing I do have is my phone in a little nifty little Ziploc bag. And then the main reason I actually have a rain jacket with me is not to keep me dry, but just to have somewhere to keep my phone and also if I need to like, if I need to open up the GoPro case or something. But yeah, so far this is this is super fun. So many like little rivers and little ponds, not ponds, but like little puddles that show up after the first couple of rains. And some of them will actually only be running or only last for maybe a few hours the most. So got to get out and enjoy them while it's raining. It's really nice there's no thunder or lightning because whenever there's any thunder, lightning, storminess, usually like to stay at home and not be out and about. But all morning I haven't heard any sign, anything of that, any types of thundery stuff. So that's the reason I'm out. Oh, it's so nice. It's just like a totally different wor world when everything's like damp and soaked. Super fun. There's like no one out. Normally when I'm out, of, out and about adventuring around, I sometimes come across other people out and about doing stuff. But because it's raining, everyone's kind of just like hibernating at home, staying out of the rain. But this is like the best time to get out because there's, there's no one else out. It's awesome. Found some organic umbrellas. These banana tree, banana leaves work perfect like little umbrellas. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what I was saying there, but it was probably something about how this is an umbrella. I would like to use the GoPro's audio of maybe trying to talk, but because of the rain and because I have the waterproof housing on it, you wouldn't, you, it, it's just muffled. It's like I'm just going talking just like So I usually don't use that. It's so cool just like admiring the trees, especially like massive ones like this one. Like this tree could be 20, 30, 40 years old and it's still standing just in one spot. Crazy. I wanted to do some tree climbing, but I felt the tree and it was really like mossy and really like slippery. So I ended up just trying to like hang from this tree, just like do like a little jump, a little hop, and then hang and then try to like climb my way up like a little monkey. But I 
think I put my hand on a spike right about here. Something pokey. I don't know what it was. So I ended up jumping down. <laughs> now this root is insane. So look at the size of this root compared to me. Like just, just look at that. It's like I'm, I'm on my knees and this root is taller than me. It's huge. It's crazy how... Oh, it's just crazy. So cool. This is the most ginormous root that I've ever seen sticking out of the ground. Definitely. This is what it looks like when your GoPro fogs up and then you have to take it out of the case in the middle of the rain. So I was trying to hold it underneath my rain jacket and trying to open up the case to let it air out. And I think a few droplets got inside the case, but at least there's no fog. That's, that's much better. Huh. Uh, where should we go now? I think we'll start making our way down to the beach. And let me let me know if you guys like this first person type of adventure where it's like you like it, it, it totally is like a first person view because like I can use both of my hands to like climb stuff and show what it is. And that right there is actually a pincher with a few legs. It was a crab with a ginormous pincher like for, compared to the size of the actual crab. I don't know. Weird. Most ginormous pincher I've ever seen for the size of the crab. Doing some little sprinting action right here, some jumps, really fun stuff. It's kind of cool having just the GoPro at the mouth mount because I can use both of my hands for like climbing over stuff, like maybe picking up rocks and throwing them into puddles. It's, 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 it's totally different because when you have like a, maybe like a camera that you set up to get different angles, like that's really cool because it's like a different type of style video. But I must say the first person view is pretty fun. So you remember I crossed by this little area a while back, well, not too long ago, but I said once it starts raining, this is going to be a massive puddle. Well, here it is, it's an enormous puddle, just like a river heading straight for the ocean. And all this wood right here that's like bundled up right here, this is all that's either been washed down the river or from when the tide comes up. Yeah, when, when the rains start coming because it kind of like washes out all the rivers, the ocean, sometimes you'll find like logs of wood floating around and stuff. So if you're surfing or even swimming, you gotta you kinda gotta watch out. My hands kinda got a little muddy from picking up those rocks. I figured I'd rinse them off in this nice, nice sandy salt water. And there was some type of something on the case, so let's rinse it off. Normally I actually film my videos at 1080. But I actually filmed this one at 2.7k that way. I don't know to see if like the quality looks any better um, I don't know the video is still at 1080p, but I just filmed at 2.7k and then downsized to um, This lower one. Here's a little I'm um, like just like a dog hanging out at the beach Super duper sandy super duper sandy the dogs here. They're, they're fairly friendly like at first They're a little skittish, but then once you let me like pet them or once they smell you then they're actually really cool it's nice being friends with the dogs. You don't want them to like get mad at you or something, come chasing after you. And found these super awesome little hangout spot. This definitely wasn't here yesterday, but I don't know. I think someone set it up, but it's just like like pieces of a log chopped up, and then it's like little stools, little benches. But the the middle of them is hollow. Figured I'd pick one up. A telescope. Maybe like a what? No, nah, yeah, like a like macro lens. Another little skittish dog. So you see at first he's really skittish, but then once he smells my hand and then he like kind of feels comfortable the like, getting um like with me petting him, then he becomes really cool. So you definitely if you like if I see a dog, I try to not like act scared of them because I'm pretty sure if you act scared then then, then they may be more prone to me like like getting ferocious and but if you're just like cool and like friendly then well, most of the time they should be pretty cool. I have had some times where I've had to like take off biking or running like my fastest because like some really scary angry dog comes chasing after me. But for the most part, these ones are always pretty friendly. They just like hang out on the beach. Super cool. Little parkour action. <laughs> it's the jungle parkour. Jung jungle free running. I'm not really sure what's the difference between parkour and free running. 
maybe like I think what I heard is like one of them is like getting from point A to point B quicker and then other ones like doing flips as you get there. I don't know. You see, this lifeguard stand would have been really easy to climb up just straight from the bottom, but I decided to take the more adventurous route and climb up a tree and then climb off the tree onto the lifeguard stand. Bit more fun. There's no lifeguards today. Hmm, not sure why. The lookout tower, super cool. And it looks like someone has left a piece of wood up here as a nice little pillow. Nice and soft, cushiony memory wood. Yeah, I think we'll keep going. Looks like someone took the remains of this tree that maybe had been been cut down or fell over and made it into a really cool sign and it actually totally looks like a like a little stairs so I climbed up it and then got to stand on the top um slow-mo whoa super cool looking whenever I have like a I'm in like a little shallow puddle I always try to like step down and then make like a, a layer where there's no water for like half a millisecond I don't know, it's just something that I do and it looks really interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now this tree was really cool looking. It's almost like each branch had the leaves going right off of the branch. Like there's no like little branches like a normal tree. Just like going straight off of the tree. So I, had, I just had to stop really quickly at the Tarzan vine place where there's this awesome vine where you get to swing like Tarzan. I just had to stop here real quick for one swing. I don't know, I just saw it and I was like, oh, it just looks so much fun to go for one quick swing. And then I was like, okay, that's good enough. Let's keep going. So you see this vine? That vine is huge. Like, it's, it's like the size of your, of, an, of your arm. And a great way to wrap up the adventure, I found this wasp nest and I tried to get as close as I could without disturbing them because if you irritate them, then they can get a little angry and then come out and sting you. And what I've heard is if one stings you, then all the other ones, they like communicate and they're like, go after that one person, Atua, and it sting him. <laughs> did, I did find a way to stay hydrated while out here. I didn't have my water bottle, which I normally carry with water, but not today because I didn't have my backpack, but that's all good. Well, that was definitely a lot more fun than I expected. It was really cool just like cruising around in the rain it would have been so much fun to have a waterproof casing for one of my cameras. So like maybe this one or just like a, maybe a DSLR or a point and shoot because the GoPro is cool because it's so small and compact. But you know, you always have this wide angle effect unless you curve correct, but sometimes it ends up looking all funky. And it'd be super cool to have like a waterproof casing for like times like that where it's raining and then I'm out filming, but no, I, I don't have a waterproof cake. I don't have a waterproof housing for my cameras except for the GoPro, of course. So the GoPro is the only one at the moment that can survive out in the rain and stuff. Anyways, today's positive quote is... <clears throat> I'm going to be standing outside. So if anyone asks, I'm outstanding. What this quote means to me is that how you look at something, like the simplest thing is of just changing the position of like a few letters from two different words and it like says a totally different word like oh yeah what are you doing standing outside what are you doing outstanding like it's totally different so think about that i think that's something that you can that can really help out if you're maybe taking photos or even videos because let's say you know maybe you're with a pe bunch of people you're walking by there's like this nice plant and everyone's like oh take a picture keep on going and you're like wait a moment I don't want to just take a normal picture like everyone else. I want to be like creative and create something new and unique. So you're like, okay, well I'm gonna like put the camera like way underneath this plant, or I'm gonna like go really far away and get like different branches in the foreground, and then maybe I'm gonna like put put something right next to it just to kind of like make the picture different and a little unique compared to everyone else. It's just something cool instead of always just taking like the same thing that everyone else would do, because then maybe someone sees all these pictures and like wow, your picture's really cool. Like, it's different than everyone else's. It's like, that's awesome. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Bang!
be sure to check out some of my other recent videos right here. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to follow me on my Instagram for monthly giveaways, updates, and Instagram stories.